Hey everybody, I just wanted to introduce you to Spook Arena. She and I just did the Jeff Santo show. We also did some performances over the weekend uh, for Trolloween and Nectar. So she just wanted to say hi to everybody uh, while I'm on <laughs> the camera here. So hello from Spook Arena, the new rock star in Seattle. She's doing really great on her little local tour. She played at Trolloween and the Nectar and uh, everybody loved her. So see you later, Spook Arena. Go have a good practice. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. That was silly, but I had to do that. Uh, it was Halloween, and we were out doing some gigs, actually, at the Nectar, which is one of my favorite clubs in Seattle, because the fans there are so great, and the people who run the place are so great, and so are the Mojam folks. And uh, so we got up on stage and rocked out a little bit there. <coughs> we're part of a jam. Stuff like that. Anyway, we rocked out on stage. People liked her. We also rocked out on the Trolloween stage, which was a lot of fun. Uh, the Fremont Arts Council was talking to Jeff Santos about just did his show, the Jeff Santos show, which is great. Uh, he's a great guy, and I, I love the kind of uh, stuff he does on his show. It's very progressive and open-minded kind of politics and art and culture. And we even talked to sports a little bit, which is really weird for us, but you know that happens sometimes when you live in a city. Uh, I should have talked about the protests against the uh, Kansas City Chiefs, you know, uh, indigenous native people trying to get them to change their name, you know, because come on, give me a break. The Washington Redskins had to do that, uh, which was, you know, long overdue. They, they're now the Commanders, which I don't know, it's not really such a great name, but uh, there they go. Um, and so the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs should do the same things, folks, I'm just saying. I'm not saying in, in New York they, they do this, you know, I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Okay, so, uh, but, yeah, we just did that show, and I talked a little bit about the Fremont Arts Council, which is this great group of people that I've joined in Seattle. They live in the Fremont neighborhood of the city, which has always been kind of a very bohemian, uh, artistic kind of area. Uh, I think it was a, probably a big center for, you know, hippiedom back in the Summer of Love. I'm sure there was, you know, more tie-dye and Birkenstocks there per capita than anywhere else, except for... <laughs> hate Asbury in San Francisco, but um, it's still a rockin' place. Uh, they have a great solstice uh, festival and parade every year, uh, and also a winter solstice uh, event, uh, and they also do this thing called Trolloween, because there's a famous sculpture underneath the Fremont Bridge in Seattle, and it is a troll, just like that old, you know, fable, uh, what, fairy tale, what do you call it, fable about uh, the goat, the goats, the billy goat's gruff, and the troll under the bridge so there is a big troll under there it's huge and uh every year on halloween the they have what's called trolloween and the fremont arts council sponsors this we had this incredible band called vamola they're a percussion ensemble with brazilian dancers and they had incredible costumes it was so beautiful uh everybody dressed up really great we had a stage show set up there um shut down the streets and then marched through town with the brazilian dancers it was incredible and then the rest of the night was spent at the Nectar, which is a great club in Fremont, right there on uh, the main main drag, the main strip. And uh, a lot of my friends showed up, and it was a really great show with some incredible musicians. Really some of the best musicians in Seattle showed up, and we did videotape my performance with Spook Arena. Uh, the musicians that I played with were so talented and brilliant, and, and I can't wait to share that video. The drum solo was epic. Um, so we're working on that, and we'll put it up at YouTube. But I did want to talk to you today about something else, you know, while I have a few minutes, and that is uh, democracy and voting. So really, it's very important that you go vote right now. Uh, there's so much money being spent on negative attack ads and really nasty stuff happening in, happening in the political spectrum. And, you know, I'm sorry to say that that has been a tradition in politics, you know, for forever, basically, is this kind of crass uh, competitive nature to it. Um, so try to look beyond that if you can and look at the cultural values of the people that are trying to sell their product to you, which in this case is a candidate. And just decide for yourself whether it represents something that you think is healthy for society or unhealthy. And you're probably not going to agree. In fact, you I can almost guarantee you're not going to agree with that candidate on every point and every position they take. Um, that's part of being in a democracy is having differences of, of a point of view and being able to express them and to agree to disagree. So don't think that, you know, there's going to be one candidate that's going to represent you completely, but try to find one that you think is good for your community. If you, if it's a local election or good for your state or good for the country or good for the world for that matter. So, um, make that decision yourself. I'm not going to tell you how to vote. 
that's your personal decision and it's not my right to tell you one way or the other. I can try to convince you with my uh, astute intellectual arguments, but today I'm just here to tell you to vote. And, um, and also, once again, check out uh, alternative media because it's really great to see folks like Tom Hartman, who was doing his show today on the election and presenting all sorts of really interesting information you're not going to hear anywhere else. He, he's literally like reading books, uh, pages from books between segments, you know, as part of his kind of book club thing where he'll read a book to you and just very intelligent guy, but also very entertaining and kind of uh, lighthearted for the most part and, and easy to deal with. So uh, he's not a heavy doom and gloomer, but, you know, he'll tell you the truth straight up, even if it's not good news. Um, and the same thing, and he's definitely um, uh, sounding the alarm for democracy in the United States right now with all the dark money that's going into these elections and the billionaires and the gerrymandering and all that anti-democratic stuff that tends to happen when things get out of control. So there we go. That's what's happening in the United States right now. Please vote if you're in Washington State. Mail your vote today. Better yet, go to a drop box because we're getting really close to the election. And then also, um, people who uh, uh, who don't live in the Western states where you have mail-in balloting, just make sure that you show up at the polls and, and be there. Be there on time. You know, don't don't get stuck in a in hours and hours of lines waiting at the end of the day hoping that you get in there on time because they're going to close the polls at 8 o'clock regardless of whether you get to uh, the polling station on time or not. Um, and don't postmark your mail-in ballots the day of the election because they won't be postmarked on time probably. That's, it's a good, good bet that you, you, your vote will be disqualified and I know people who have done that so don't do that. Uh, mail in your vote now or better yet if you're in a place that has drop boxes take your vote there and please try to participate in democracy as executive director for Democracy Watch News, yes, I'm a rock and roller too, but I also do some serious work with a, a group that's um, all about um, promoting democracy around the world and, and covering pro-democracy movements around the world. So um, I'm here to tell you that democracy requires participation. And if you don't want the billionaires and the, the dark money and the gerrymanders and the corrupt politicians to and, and party election officials to steal your votes, <laughs> then get out there and make sure you show up because they will do everything they can to, uh, to uh, outmaneuver the other side, even if it is suppressing votes in places like Georgia. So get out there, vote. If your vote gets challenged, then respond immediately and make sure that you uh, talk to the election commissions or show up wherever you need to do to take care of that. I hope it doesn't happen to you, but a lot of that is going on in certain parts of the country. So voter suppression is a major issue. Uh, so is uh, gerrymandering and also dark money in this post-Citizens United decision era. This is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle, hoping that you're having a wonderful day, and please get out there and vote. And also, follow me at YouTube and, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm also on all the other social medias, so you can find me at Facebook and Twitter. Oh, man. We can talk about Elon Musk later. Um, and other social platforms. So this is Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Peace out, y'all. Have a good day.